welcome to physics guide channel my name is raju i am physics lecturer today we discuss rotational mechanics to understand rotational mechanics first we need to define few terms very important rigid body what is rigid body rigid body is defined as if there is no relative motion between any two particles of the body along the line joining them by the application of external force, then that body is called a rigid body. For example, few examples we take to understand the rigid body. A car moving on the road, the distance between center of front wheel to the center of the back wheel remains same, unchanged, which means there is no relative motion between the two particles. There is no relative motion between the centers of two wheels, front wheel and back wheel. Not only those two wheels, if you take any two particles on the body, on this car, moving car, there is no relative motion between those two points. Then the moving car is taken as a rigid body. One more example if we take rotating fan. A fan rotating, a distance between one wing to another wing not changing at all. No relative motion between wings of a fan. See, if we take a fan and if you consider any two points on the fan, uh, any two points on one wing, any two points on other wing, any two points uh, on one wing and other wing also. So the distance between these two points remained unchanged as the fan is rotating. Okay. And there is no relative motion between those two points, which means the fan is considered as a rigid body. One more example, if we take a wheel rolling on the inclined plane, the distance between any two points on the wheel not changing, no relative motion between the points on the wheel, which means same or the explanation from the previous examples. See here. Above are the examples for rigid body, not only the specific points mentioned on the bodies in the above example, but also any two points on the body not in relative motion. Any two points you consider on the body, they are not in relative motion. Then those are called rigid bodies. One more example if we consider. Two blocks connected to the ends of a spring shown in the figure. Look at this figure. Two blocks are there, and these two blocks connected to the uh, spring. If block one and block two are moving with velocities v1 and v2 in the same direction, these two blocks are moving with the same velocity v1 equal to v2 and the same direction, then the system is a rigid body. Okay, since there is no relative motion between the two particles on the body on the system, then they, uh, there is no relative motion, then it is called a rigid body. Otherwise, it is not a rigid body. If there is a relative motion, for example, if uh, one block is moving with a, a velocity v1, another block is uh, moving with velocity v2, for example, v1 is greater than v2, there may be a elongation or there may be a compression, then there is a relative motion between the blocks and as well as particles on the blocks. Therefore, it is not considered as a rigid body. Okay, I hope you understand what is rigid body. Then we will discuss about types of rigid body motions. Types of rigid body motions. There are three types of rigid body motions. Pure translational motion, pure rotational motion, and combined translational and rotational motion. It is also called a rolling. Example for translational motion. Let us take a box and drag it on the floor, dragging a box on the floor. If you observe, e, consider these points on the picture, um, A, B, C points. If you consider any other point on the uh, uh, um, box, these points, each and every particle on the box, on the body, same dis having same displacement in same interval of time. Therefore, it is in pure translational motion. 
let us take an example for rotational motion. A moving fan. Okay, fan is rotating here in this picture. Let us consider two particles on the uh, wing, one of the wing, A and B. Okay, so while it is rotating, A is making a circle about uh, its axis, and B also rotating about a circle about the same axis. So each particle moves in a circle. All circles are concentric with center at the axis of rotation. In this picture, this axle, this rod, which is connected to the ceiling of the fan, um, ceiling, that is known as axis of rotation, all the particles are rotating about this axis in a circles, making circles. Okay. And the angular velocities of all the particles, same for same time interval. Therefore, the rotating fan taken as a purely rotating body. Okay, it is an example for rotational motion. If, uh, if you open the door or close the door, the door is moves or rotates about its hinges. This is also an example for rotational motion. Or a CD on its uh, table, it is rotates. It rotates. Therefore, it is also an example for rotational motion. Earth rotates about itself and uh, revolves around the sun. So, Earth is an also, also an example for the rotational motion. All the nucleons rotates about having it, their own spin. In your nuclear physics, you will learn about it. All the nucleons have its their own uh, nuclear spin, and that is also rotation. Rotates about itself. Therefore, it is also example for rotational motion. And next, combined translational and uh, and rotational motion. An example is a rolling bodies. For example, if you consider a wheel rolling on the floor or rolling on the inclined plane, rolling on the horizontal plane, whatever it may be. Let us consider one point on the wheel. P is a point on the wheel in this picture. And for half rotation, for half cycle, the P position is down. Okay, when it is on the top, after, after half rotation, it is on the floor. It is uh, uh, at the bottom position, which means it has uh, some displacement. Point P has some displacement, means it is having translational motion. And point P is rotates about the center of the wheel. Therefore, it has rotational motion too. So the, the, this is a combined translational and rotational motion, also called rolling. 